getting PHP My Admin set up on your server is really, really straightforward because all you really have to do is copy over the files that you download and go ahead and hit them uh, within your browser. Now there are important security considerations when you are uploading uh, any software like PHP My Admin to your server because obviously it will then be publicly available so anyone can go ahead and access it. So again, I wouldn't recommend using PHP My Admin, but if you do need to use it, uh, you can uh, password protect it with an HT password. Um, obviously, when you do upload this, you will have, you know, uh, it be password protected anyway because you need to enter your password. But if there were any vulnerabilities in PHP My Admin, it just means there's another entry to your uh, database. So the first thing that you're going to want to do then to get PHP My Admin up and running on your server is go ahead and download it. So if you head over to the PHP My Admin site, you'll be able to download the latest version. Once you have that downloaded, you'll uh, obviously have all of the files that you need to go ahead and copy over. Now I've already copied this over because it does take a while, but within your FTP client, you want to create a uh, folder called PHP My Admin or whatever you want to call it. Make sure this is secure or remove it when you don't need it any longer. And you're going to want to copy all of them files that we've just seen over to this directory. So once that's all copied over, uh, you will see your directory within here, or you can just go ahead and type this in uh, to, to your web browser. And then you'll see the PHP My Admin uh, start screen. Now PHP My Admin has improved in the sense that all you really need to do now is go ahead and enter your username and password. So we can enter root as our username. We know that that's our username and we can remind ourselves of our password. If you didn't set one uh, when you ran MySQL secure installation and we can go ahead and just copy this root password. We can paste it in here and hit go. And that takes us directly in. Obviously, if you are using additional user accounts, you can go ahead and enter that, that username and password. Like I recommended, you set up uh, another user that has limited privileges so you don't run into any security considerations. Uh, but obviously, you have the option to manage your users within here as well. So here's that project database we created earlier with that users table. Uh, we can basically just browse this as we normally would and you can go ahead and set everything up you need in here again remember that make sure that this is secure so don't have this floating around in your root directory so go ahead and remove it when you don't need it or protect it with some kind of ht password so basic http authentication and that is pretty much it although i wouldn't wouldn't recommend using php my admin that is how easy it is to copy it over to your server and go ahead and manage your databases this way.